Cubase 9 introduces the new zone concept to speed up navigation between the most critical functions while keeping your monitor neat and tidy. The default configuration has separate tabs for the mix console, the active editor, chord pads, and a control tab for the all new sampler track, which we'll get into in the next video. The mix console tab means you no longer need to juggle the project window and the mixer. Now you can access all of Mix Console's core functions from this tab. You have access to linking, panning, mute solo and listen, the fader of course, and the automation, track name, and color. Across the top of the tab is the Mix Console toolbar, which provides instant access to filter and search tools, link settings, and channel width. You can even access the Functions menu right here. And if you want to open the full Mix Console, you can do it with one click. The left-hand margin allows you to click between the faders, inserts, and sends to handle most of your common routing needs inside the Mix Console tab. And the Mix Console tab has its own set of dedicated undo, redo controls. This means you can experiment with confidence because the sequential undo function will let you step backwards through the changes to the original state of your project. The next tab is the Editor tab, and it allows you simultaneous access to the project window and the editor for whatever type of content you've selected. If I click on an audio waveform, the sample editor instantly appears. And if I select a MIDI part, the MIDI editor appears and the timelines can be linked to synchronize cursor position automatically between the editor tab and the project window. You can also record directly into the editors. And in addition to the toolbar across the top of the editor tab, you can now access the full host of editor controls and functions by changing the inspector from the traditional track display to the new editor mode. And here again, as you switch between track types, the Editor Inspector automatically shifts to accommodate the new selection. And just like we saw in the Mix Console tab, you have the option to pop it out into a free-floating window at any time. You can rearrange your tabs by clicking and dragging. And you can open the Lower Zone Setup window with the gear icon for even more control. At the very bottom of the lower zone is the new Transport tab, which gives you all the tools of the Transport panel in a convenient and out-of-the-way location. The gear icon in the corner lets you set up the configuration any way you want. Finally, we have one tab left here, the Sampler Control tab. If we drag a piece of audio into it, it opens and creates a brand new type of track called a Sampler Track. To see these two revolutionary new features in action, let's click over to the next video and get started.